Hello, Music Bear here. Um, I'm going to talk about a um, a VST called Dream Sequencer 2. It's going to be a, um, a generalized uh, type uh, of what we can do with a sequencer in uh, Elements. Because I would say that most sequencers will um, will work this way. Um, first of all, uh, the sequencer is um, tied to uh, elements um, uh, tempo. So if we raise the tempo here, you can see that the light goes faster. It's this uh, specific um, take it down here again to 140. This specific um, sequencer um, will make a sequence over uh, 2 bar or 8 bit um, and each of these uh, lights going over uh, the screen represents the time when uh, a, um, a specific um, uh, event is going to be um, created. It has um, the possibility to make notes slide and possibility to take one out of the equation. So if we take this one out of the equation you see the light is no longer on. Also has a uh, uh, very limited uh, controls for uh, OSC is envelope, filter and echo uh, and some presets we can look at those here and see here we have patches and we can hear such a patch <laughs> Hear the gap that I made here, right? Um, you can take another patch, for instance, number three, and play again here. And you can hear that's actually just the the whole sequence. So, how to use such a sequencer in Elements? Well. Elements itself, or actually the, the piano roll, is a sequencer. So we are putting a sequencer inside a sequencer here. That could be considered rather strange, but we will just do it anyway. Uh, I always like to see the scale. I'm doing something in here. So I'm on a major scale and I'm here. So we're just saying mark current scale uh, on C. So this is the C major scale. Right, and I'll stay inside scale, of course. So to get this to work, we'll just put in a node here, like that, and we could put a node here, like that. So now we have that into those, and we could put a node like that. And let's just make four bars here, so we can go back here to G, I think. So now we have a transition over this pattern uh, that the uh, uh, dream sequencer is generating so it will go from D to A back to C and down to G. Listen. I could also choose to uh, if if the if the BST uh, supports it, I can create a longer sequence for the C note, shorter sequence for the A note, and that will go like this. see this sequencer actually supports um, shorter um, sequences those than sorry than the um, uh, the 8 beat 2 bar so you can 
make more variations like that. Well, that's that's really it. Of course, we can use our um, um, uh, controls in Elements to make uh, automations. We can automate any one of these, or all of them, if we want to, and that could be, for instance. So um, I don't think I ha can say a lot more about this. This was a requested video from one of our forum users uh, that couldn't get this specific VST to work, but I think that can be a model for how other sequences can uh, be used in uh, Elements. Just 